this is a video on calculating the pH of buffer solutions and this video is made based on a request. Hopefully this is exactly what you were looking for. I've picked an example on how to determine the pH of acidic buffers. So here is the problem. A 1 liter solution of buffer contains 0 0.50 moles per liter of acetic acid dissolved in 1 liter and a 0 0.40 moles per liter of sodium acetate dissolved in 1 liter. So we have 1 liter of the buffer solution and these are the concentrations of the acid and the salt. The Ka for acetic acid is given as 1.8 into 10 to the power of negative 5 and calculate the pH of the solution. Normally when you get a question like this, it will not tell you whether the problem is dealing with a buffer solution or a mixture of an acid or a base, but the information provided in the question should be a guideline for you. So this is the rationale for solving the problem. All of these thoughts have to come to your head before you can actually decide which equation should be used or what method is to be adopted. In this question, you are provided with the concentration of a weak acid and the concentration of the salt of the weak acid. And you are supposed to determine the pH of this mixture. Acetic acid is a weak acid. The formula of acetic acid is HC2H3O2 or you can write it as CH3COOH. Both are fine. Sodium acetate, the formula is NaC2H3O2 or you can write it as CH3COONA. Acetic acid is a weak acid and hence it is not completely dissociated. Sodium acetate, on the other hand, is a strong electrolyte and is completely dissociated. Normally, if you need to prepare a buffer, you take a weak acid and the salt of the weak acid and the mixture will usually give you a buffered solution. If you use the bronsted lowry theory, you will see that acetic acid, when it dissolves in water, produces a conjugate acid and a conjugate base. The conjugate base in this case would be the acetate ions. And acetate ions are called strong conjugate bases because it is a product of dissociation of a weak acid. And strong conjugate bases undergo hydrolysis. So this mixture of a weak acid and the salt of the weak acid usually produces a buffer and we can use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to solve it. There are more than one methods for solving the question, but in this case we are going to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. This is how you write the equation. pH is equals to pKa plus log concentration of the anion by concentration of the weak acid. In this case, A minus represents the concentration of the acetate ions. HA represents the concentration of acetic acid in this case. A minus, the molar concentration is 0 0.04 is the concentration of the acetate ions. And HA represents the concentration of the weak acid. In this case, it is 0 0.05 M. pKa is equals to negative log Ka. It can be calculated by an equation very similar to the equation for a pH. pH is equal to negative log hydrogen ions. Similarly, you replace the hydrogen ions by Ka or you will get pKa is equals to negative log Ka. In this case, the value of Ka is 1.8 into 10 to the power of negative 5. And if you solve this, the pKa is equals to 4.7. So now you have the concentration of the acetate ions, concentration of the acid and the pKa values. If you substitute these numbers in the equation, you should get the pH of the solution.
So the equation changes into pH is equal to 4.7 plus log concentration of 0 0.04 moles per liter of acetate ions divided by 0 0.05 moles per liter of acetic acid. Dividing 0 0.04 by 0 0.05 will give you 0 .0, 0 0.8. Log 0 0.8 gives you minus 0 0.97. Rounding off that number, you will get minus 0 0.1. So your final answer will be pH is equals to 4.6. That's it for now. If you like the video, please don't hesitate to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.